If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button for more amazing content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bofina1, bringing you guys in another YouTube video. And yes, you read the title correct correctly. Netflix is going under. Well, not really, but they are losing subscribers. The past Monday, it came out that Netflix has reportedly losing subscribers for the first time, and the forecast is that there will be a bigger decline. Now, we all know since the beginning of the pandemic, streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Plus you know, HBO Max, all that stuff really began to take off with people being stuck at home and not being able to go out and, you know, like to the movie theaters, etc. So in a sense, it's like, hey, if I can't go out to the movie theaters, I'm going to bring the movie theaters to me. And since people are not spending as much because they've been locked up so much, they have a few bucks monthly to be able to spend on a subscription. And, to, and if you really think about it, in order like to spend like for HBO Max for me, like I have, it's like 16, 14, 16 bucks a month. But I have access to all those movies anytime I want, as much as I want. You know, if you go see a movie, one movie, you're going to pay, like, depending where you live, 18 to 20 bucks for an adult. Um, so you can't beat that to pay that one-time fee of, like, going to the movie theaters one time, but you have access to all these different movies. Essentially, Netflix reported a loss of subscribers rather than a mere slowdown in subscription growth because it stopped offering its services in Russia. China also does not allow foreign streaming services to operate in the country as well. I mean, the reality is that if the world does not begin to open back, if the world does begin to open back up, people will begin to go back to the movie theaters. So like we kind of see right now, you know, it's getting like it's springtime, it's getting close to summertime. People are slowly kind of like they did last year, going back out. Movie theaters are opening back, back up. Um, a lot of mass restrictions are going away, a lot of certain things. So people are going to say, hey, I'm going to start going back out um, and that it's like with those subscriptions, if you're someone that's going out more, you're going to be like, hey, I'm not going to spend 20, 40, 60 dollars. However, you know, you may have multiple different subscriptions. There's a lot of different streaming platforms. You may say, hey, I'm not going to go pay that money to have a subscription that I'm really not losing. Now, obviously, because this pandemic has been going on for so long, you will have people that don't really want to go back to, to the movie theater. So there is that audience or that group of people that, hey, you know, I've gotten so used to being at home. I feel comfortable. I'd rather just invite my family over or friends over. I really don't feel comfortable sitting back in a movie theater anymore and being bothered with someone sitting next to me. You know, I like having the comfort of my of my home and I don't mind maybe waiting because, you know, like a lot of time movie movies were coming to these streaming sites and since the movie theaters are kind of opening back up they're not coming there they're not coming there as quick but some people are like hey i don't care as well as there's always a whole bunch of other sites so let's not act like that's not the case but many will begin to go back to doing what they were doing before and people will begin to look at things that like I said, they can budget from a monthly standpoint. So in my opinion, it comes as no surprise that monthly subscriptions will begin to decline, especially if you get rid of your service in country. Let's also be real. You know, Netflix has quite a few old shows and it takes them so long to get more up to date. I mean, I know once they started getting during the pandemic, once more people started, um, uh, you know, subscribing and, 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 you know, because they were at home, they did, they had extra money. They were able to start getting more newer shows, more newer movies, but let's keep it a bug. Let's keep it real. Netflix takes a really long time to be able to actually get, um, new things on it. Uh, they are really good with having like what they call exclusives, like Netflix exclusives. They've had quite a few of those, whether it's like movies or shows that end up, that actually end up turning out really good. But the point is that, you know, a lot of other stuff, it takes them so long to get, so I could definitely see a decline in subscriptions, especially as the world begins to open up. But like I said, they're always going to have that core audience because not everybody likes to go out. Not everybody is, you know, some people are homebody. Some people like to sit home and watch shows and there's nothing wrong with that. And then you have the person that because of the pandemic, they started staying home more and they're not planning to change that. Um, they see how much money they save. They feel like it's safer. They feel like it's cleaner, you know, et cetera. So it, it's going to be 50-50, but I mean in a sense for them to report a loss in subscription because they stopped their services in a country. Well, that's more so on them. But let me know you guys thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think, you know, is going to be Netflix in a sense new, um, you know, what are they going to do next? Like, what do you think is the future for Netflix? You know, are people going to start bearing away or are they going to kind of stay with them? So let me know not down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Fernarmi.